Uh, Jen, where'd you get your money from? I started out with one store, very small. Mob didn't give you the money? Mob? Mob. No. Think about your favorite talk show host for a second, okay? What is their personal style when it comes to how they interview people? Do they prefer to get straight to the point? Do they try and make every interview funny? What balance of them talking and letting the guest talk do they have? It is a complicated thing to be sure, but what gets lost sometimes is that these hosts and their guests don't always get along and some very, very tense moments arrive as a result. So with that, allow us to show you the top nine most confrontational talk show moments you won't believe. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number nine, Dakota Johnson on Ellen. This was a little bit of a tit for tat situation, but it was Ellen DeGeneres who was clearly in the wrong for laying an insult that turned out to be not justified in the least. Because when Dakota was on Ellen's show, it was just after her birthday party, a party that Ellen wasn't at. Ellen noted that she hadn't been invited to the party, but Dakota noted that not only wasn't true, Ellen was invited, but didn't say to her or anyone else why she couldn't come. Ellen was shocked by this and looked at her producer to ask why and how this happened, to which they noted she was out of town, and Ellen tried to recover with, yeah, I had that thing, clearly not remembering why she was out of town that day. Dakota then laid in the burns even more when she noted some of the people who were at the party, including a certain comedian she was fond of. She noted that she is my favorite comedian. And right on cue, Ellen acted disheartened, and Dakota tried to recover with, other than you, but the joke was too late in from that point. Granted, if Dakota Johnson really didn't invite Ellen to her party for some contrived reason, then by all means, lay in the insult and the jokes. But Ellen made a faux pas and got major egg on her face, and it wouldn't be the last time this particular kind of incident happened on her show by a long shot. Also, she noted recently that she never goes to these celebrity parties for one reason or another, so why was she trying to stick it to Dakota when she wasn't even going to go to the party in the first place? Number 8. Norman Mailer vs. Gore Vidal if you don't recall the Dick Cavett show, that's okay. It ended over 30 decades ago, but that doesn't mean there isn't something to glean from that show because there absolutely is. The show was known for all sorts of things, including doing some very big intellectual debates, and that's exactly what happened with Norm Mailer and Gore Vidal when they were on the show. They had wildly different views on things, not the least of which was women's liberation and the role of women in society. Norman thought that women's liberation shouldn't be a thing, while Vidal absolutely did, and when they brought them together, Mailer noted that he wouldn't hit them because they're intellectually smaller. The thing never got physical, thankfully, but you could tell that both the guest and Dick Cavett himself were not amused with Norman's backwards thinking, including the host himself saying, why don't you fold it five ways and stick it where the sun don't shine? Yep, that right there is confrontation. Number 7. Vince McMahon with Bob Costas There are a number of interviews that we could put on here that involve Vince McMahon, the head of WWE, the biggest wrestling brand in the world. He has been over the top and confrontational about all sorts of things, and he's got a major ego that he is never afraid to flaunt, including how he not once, but twice tried to rival the NFL with the XFL. And during its first run, he went on to On the Record with Bob Costas to discuss things. Bob did not hold back and went right for the heart of the matter, including the falling XFL ratings, the stigma that surrounded pro wrestling, and more. Vince got more and more angry with Costas with every passing question, and in this case it was kind of justified as Bob wouldn't let Vince answer. When Vince did answer, he came off as heated, and you almost wondered if he was thinking about hurting Bob WWE style. Now there was fault on both sides here clearly, but there are better ways to conduct interviews. Morton Downey Jr. vs. Psycha The short-lived Morton Downey Jr. show usually didn't make too much of a splash, but there was one confrontation that absolutely has to be talked about. You see, the show was very much a forerunner to the Jerry Springer show and various other outlandish talk shows that was meant to get people talking and incite all sorts of feelings from the guests. Such as when in the very first episode, the show went after the adult film industry and had actress Seika on the show to talk about it all, among others. Downey Jr. went right after her and accused both her and the industry of various things, including 50% of it is controlled by the mob. Morton was savage, and kinda sadly, the audience ate it up. To that extent, after getting grilled by him for minutes on end, Seika left the stage during a commercial break. Morton's show, meanwhile, only lasted three years, and well, 
not hard to see why. Number five, Patti LaBelle and the Chef. This segment is about cupcakes. For real. You see, when Tyra Banks had her own talk show, she once had a celebrity chef and Patti LaBelle on it, and they were baking cupcakes. During one bit, LaBelle talked about the paper of the cupcakes and told everyone to make sure you don't eat them, which apparently rubbed the guest chef so much that she started treating LaBelle like a child, making fun of her and insisting that she wanted to eat the paper. It was awkward, it was cringeworthy, and we'll be getting our own cupcakes from now on. Thank you very much. Number 4. Tom Cruise vs. Matt Lauer This one is ironic in all sorts of ways, not the least of which is what happened with Matt Lauer, but here he was honestly the good guy, as shocking as that may seem. Tom Cruise was on the Today Show to talk about his movie and soon to be bombed, War of the Worlds, and for the first part of the interview, everything was fine. But then Lauer mentioned Cruz's acceptance of Scientology, a sign of things to come, and the two suddenly got into a battle of wills of sorts with Cruz ranting about the dangers of psychiatry and medicines like Ritalin. This interview got so insane that Tom Cruise was publicly shunned for some time, and it took a while for his movie career to recover. Number 3. Whoopi Goldberg vs. Bill O'Reilly Oh look, another ironic one! And not just because this happened on The View, but it helped. Getting Bill O'Reilly, another soon-to-be disgraced host on the show, was dynamite enough, and he lived up to his egocentric hype, but him clashing with Whoopi Goldberg is what made this one memorable. While everything started out kosher, more or less, O'Reilly went full tilt on the Muslim people and said they killed us on 9-11, which was a gross overgeneralization that Whoopi Goldberg went to war on, and for good reason. Her and her fellow co-host Joy walked off the set because they couldn't stand to listen to him anymore. Number 2. Rosie O'Donnell vs. Tom Selleck Back in the 90s, Rosie O'Donnell was one of the biggest stars, and had one of the biggest talk shows around via her self-named program, so naturally she got stars like Tom Selleck to come onto the program, and well, it didn't go great. The biggest problem with this interview was timing, because this happened right after the Columbine incident that would set off a wave of violence in schools and endless amount of questions about gun control. Sure enough, Rosie and Tom got into a heated debate about it. Tom tried to play it cool and state how this was a contentious issue, but the conversation just wouldn't stop. O'Donnell constantly tried to get Selleck to denounce the NRA and ask for stricter gun control laws, and Selleck wouldn't do it for various reasons. And to note, he was supposed to be there to promote his latest film, but talk about gun control instead, so well, you can understand why he was a little more ticked off. Number 1. Jim Everett vs. Jim Rome when it comes to sports talk shows, they can get a bit cheeky depending on how the host acts. For former ESPN host Jim Rome, he made a living trying to be big, loud, and sometimes controversial in roundabout ways. Such as when he would call NFL player Jim Everett, Chris Everett, in reference to a female tennis player who had that name. And when Jim was on the show, he called him Jim, and then said, check that, Chris Everett, and things got heated from that point on. So much so that Jim Everett dared Rome to call him Chris again, stating that if they do, we'll need a station break. Sure enough, Rome did, and Everett knocked over the table and knocked Rome to the ground. Guess he was being honest, Rome. What do you think of this look at the times that talk show hosts and guests just didn't get along and confronted each other over one thing or another? Which of these events do you personally remember watching happen live on the first viewing? Which of these battles do you think could have been avoided? Do you know another talk show confrontation that you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.